follow developing news from the Great Salt Lake. Some kayakers who went missing on the water were found alive and safe. Crews found them overnight near White Rock Bay, which is west of Antelope Island. ABC 4's Jared Jatney is live near the lake with this story. Good morning, Jared. Sarah, good morning. We're at the south entrance of the park. We're told crews were able to locate the two missing kayakers just west of where we are right now. All three kayakers alive and well this morning. Let's get to some video taken from the search and recovery efforts. It was an all hands on deck approach by crews searching by land and by air to locate these two missing kayakers. This all happened around 3 p.m. yesterday. Three kayakers out on the Great Salt Lake lost sight of each other. One of the kayakers was able to make contact with land to call for help. And ever since it was an all hands on deck approach to locate the two kayakers, we're told two of them were located. They're alive and well. Both 20 year old men. We don't know much else about them this hour. So, out there, crews say kayakers were in 65 degree water. Hypothermia and other health concerns were an issue. Also, the waves were six to seven feet tall. We're told family members were here on scene. Very scary moment for all of them, hugging their relatives a little closer this morning. Family members were here, uh, and, you know, picture how excited you just. Anyone would be in a situation like this to be able to hold your loved one again after such a scary incident. And uh, we, we're just very thankful that it was able to resolve itself this way. And I can say that Utah State Parks is very happy to all the friends and family that showed support. And it definitely could have been a lot worse. We're told that the kayakers were not wearing life jackets when crews found them. Now back out here live, crews say it was a race against the clock to locate these kayakers before the wind and the rain kicked in because, again, those waves could have been a lot taller because as the morning progresses, the wind has picked up significantly. Reporting live, Jared Jatinini, ABC 4 News.